I hate school. Akine! Good morning. I'm Haruhiro Fujito. I'm in 11th grade. I hated school. You see, there was this girl that sat next to me and... She was really scary. Ugh. I'm sorry. I hate this new scene assignment. Why me? Her name was Akine Tojimbara. She had this long, blonde hair. She was a bad girl. She was feared by everyone in school. I hear she's really strong. I better stay away from her. After classes were over, I headed to the bookstore to get this new comic book that just came out. Can't wait! As I headed home, I saw someone familiar. Is that Akine? Here you go. Thank you, dear. Sure thing, bye. Uh, Akine helping out an old lady? That can't be. It's probably someone else. But she looked exactly like her. So I followed her. A few minutes later, she stopped to help out this kid who fell and scratched his knee. She was nothing like the Akine I knew. Maybe I was wrong about her. I barely know anything about her. Hey! Ah! Why are you following me, huh? What do you want? Uh, I... What is it? Uh, I... I saw you helping that old lady, and I don't know. I didn't know you were nice like that, so I... <laughs> You're really kind. I had no idea. Shut up! Helping out someone in need, it's easier said than done. I was wrong about you, Akine. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I'm leaving! What? Forget everything you saw today. Don't tell anyone from school. If you do, you're gonna regret it. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna say anything, but she's kinda cute. I had no idea. After that, she stopped messing with me. We were starting to become friends. The other kids probably think I'm her errand boy or something, but doesn't matter. What? Have we met before? Uh, I don't think so. You kinda look like this guy I knew. It's probably just in my head, though. Forget I said anything. Uh, sure. What was he like? Well, uh, I looked up to him. Have you ever heard of the Red Tornado? He's a legend. Uh, I, I think so. He helped me out once, and I've been a fan ever since. I want to be just like him. Help people out, you know? I don't even know his real name, but I hope I run into him someday. I see. That's why. Uh, sounds nice. Hope you find him. Yeah, when I meet him, I'm gonna tell him how I feel. Anyways, you should go get a haircut. It's way too long. I can barely see your face. Oh, right. Well, I don't want to stand out, and I kind of like it, so. If you say so, but I think you'd look much better with shorter hair. Maybe. I'll think about it. We started spending more time together. Hey, I read the comic you were talking about. I loved it. Oh, yeah? It was good, right? My favorite part is when the main character goes back for his friends and... Yeah, that was my favorite part too! Hey, you wanna eat lunch together? I wanna talk more about the comic book. Uh, sure. That's a nice surprise. Alright, I'm gonna go to the store and get something to eat. Hold on! I... I made you lunch. Stay. Huh? Oh, you did? Don't get me wrong, I just made too much, that's why. Oh, right. But then, one day... Where did she go? We were supposed to walk home together. Those scary-looking guys took Tojin Bara away. Hope she's okay. Yeah, they were saying something about the Red Tornado. What? Oh no, I gotta go find her. So, what the hell do you guys want? Relax, we just want to talk. That's all. Talk about what? We got nothing to talk about. Look, just stay out of our way, all right? Huh? Look, you're bringing down my reputation. You better stop before I beat your ass. He's the legendary Red Tornado. I'm sure you've heard of him. Red Tornado? Yep, that's me. See this scar in my hand? Liar, you can't be. Ready or not, here I come! So you're the Red Tornado, huh? Haruhiro? Who the hell are you? Ah, ouch! Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. And, uh... I'm the Red Tornado. See this? Oh, crap. He's the real deal. You guys scared? 
Come on, we can take him. It's a three on one. <laughs> you sure about that? Come on, get him. I took them out in a matter of seconds. They ran off like cowards. Crap, now she knows who I am. Hey, you okay? What the? Uh, I was so scared. Uh, there, there. She might dress like a bad girl, but she's actually really sweet and innocent. Thank you for saving me. Sure, no worries. Just glad that you're okay. This is awkward. Haruhiro, can I ask you something? Sure. Why did you quit? You know, being a bad boy and all. Well, everyone thought I was a bad kid, but I actually wasn't. You know that scar on my forehead? Yeah? I got this when I was a kid. I got scratched by a cat, but people thought I was a bad boy and the real bad kids started messing with me. I was able to take them out every time, but then they started calling me the Red Tornado and... I see. I had no idea. Is that why you dress like that now? Yeah. My teacher once said to me, Physical strength is meaningless. It's all about what's in here. His words really stuck with me. You've got a good heart, Akine. I respect that. I see. You should stop pretending to be someone you're not. You're a strong person. Yeah. Maybe I should stop doing this. Then the bad kids will stop messing with me. Good idea. So, a cat scratched you, huh? That's cute. Huh? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's what I like about you. What was that? Nothing. The next day, I almost didn't recognize her when I saw her at school. She was like a completely different person. Everyone in class started talking about her. Uh, Akine? Yeah? Um, you're too close. No, I'm not. Relax. But I can't eat like this. What will the others think? I don't care. I like you, Haruhiro. I got nothing to hide. What? You like me? Did she really just say that now? Yeah. I've been in love with you ever since you saved me that day. And with everything that happened over the past couple of days, I love you more than ever. So, what do you think? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah? Then let's get married! What? I don't know about that. So you don't like me? No, that's not what I said. But I'm too young to get married, so... Maybe we can start as boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> what the? <laughs> What's the big deal? We're boyfriend and girlfriend now, right? <laughs> I'm Haruhiro Matsubara. This year, I finally got into college on my third attempt. I was 21 already, but doesn't matter. Time to have some fun. I'm a college student now. But a few weeks later, I was kind of disappointed. What do you want to eat for lunch? Pasta. I love the pasta they serve at the cafeteria. I was a loser back in high school. I was hoping that would change in college, but I was naive to think that. It's been six months since I got here, but I was still single. I didn't even have a female friend. Actually, I didn't have any friends, period. Haruhiro, you eating by yourself again? Uh, no. <laughs> what a loser, look at him. <laughs> He's pathetic. <laughs> yeah. They were the only guys that talked to me. And all they ever did was make fun of me for being a loner. Wish you'd leave me alone. Haruhiro, you've never had a girlfriend, right? No, no. <laughs> I knew it. Why did you say that twice? Him and his friends are so annoying. Jerks. I was pretty fed up with them. But hey, good news. I'm inviting you to a matchmaking party. It starts at 6 p.m. tonight. See you there. Huh? To my surprise, he invited me to a party. I guess he's not a bad guy after all. Hey, I'm Keigo. You're all so beautiful. Oh, stop it. I'm Haruhiro Matsubara. I... He's 21 already. He's an old man now. Oh, you didn't get it on your first try? So he's our senpai? Oh, no worries. He's just here to clean up after us, so... Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, you're mean. <laughs> <sighs> Asshole. He tricked me? Jerk. Hey, you see that slutty girl over there? 
She looks like she's in a bad mood. Take care of her. I don't want her killing the vibes. Huh? I can't do that! <sighs> Everyone had a great time at the party and went on to the next bar a few hours later. Well, everyone except for us two. I was all alone with her now. Her name was Akine Nimi. She went to this nice private college in the city. Hey, Haruhiro. Oh, right. Cat money. Hold on here. What? No, not that. I was just curious. They brought you here against your will, didn't they? Um, yeah. I was kind of excited, though. You were? <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Oh, it's fine. You're pretty, so... Oh, uh, thanks. The thing is, I got dragged out here as well. They didn't have enough people. Oh, I see. I thought you were here to find a boyfriend or something. Oh, sorry, that was rude. Oh, it's okay. I get that a lot. It's because of my makeup and stuff. I started wearing makeup in college. I was just trying to fit in, you know? I didn't have any friends, so... But it didn't go so well. I look all slutty now. <laughs> I know how you feel. I tried to change myself in college too, but nothing was working. And I got no friends either. I kind of gave up on that. But hey, at least you're still trying. Ugh. Ah, what is it? Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your hand. I'm really sorry. What? Uh, it's fine, really. <laughs> hey, uh, let me see those glasses. Hey, what are you doing? Give that back. I knew it. You look much better without your glasses. Really? Thanks. Wait, why are you being so nice to me? Is this some kind of scam? <sighs> Fine. You win. Let's go find an ATM. What? What are you talking about? Hey, do you live around here? Uh, yeah. It's about a 15-minute walk. Wait, you trying to rob me? You can take anything you want, but not my action figures, please. I'm not gonna rob you. Let's drink at your house. I just turned 21, so come on. Wait, what did she say? She wants to come to my house? Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know what to say, so I said happy birthday to her. Ah, look at all these action figures. They're cute. I know, it's creepy. Sorry. It's not creepy at all. I like them. I think I was wrong about her. She looked kind of slutty, but she was actually really nice. Come on, I'm really stressed out. Let's drink. Cheers. Uh, Nimi, right? What are you so stressed out about? Call me Akine. I can call you Haruhiro, right? Of course. Akine? You're so uptight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not used to this. I'm terrible at talking to girls and lose my mind here. So... What's stressing you so much? Oh, everything. I hate wearing makeup like this just to fit in. I don't want to talk behind people's backs, but that guy Keigo? I hate guys like him. He was so rude to you. Oh. But you? You're okay. You're kind of funny. I still hated Keigo, but he kind of helped me out here. So, are you trying to get a girlfriend in college? No. Uh, what? I take that as a yes. <laughs> well, when I first started here, yeah, but I gave up. Oh, I see. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up, but uh, I was just thinking. I can be myself around you, and it's kind of nice. Good to hear. You're very kind to say that. For the first time in my life, a girl was being nice to me. It was a really nice feeling. Hey, you want to make a deal? Huh? You want money? No, silly. I can be myself when I'm with you, so let me hang out here every now and then. In return, I'll cook for you and stuff. What do you say? I'm pretty good at housework, and I give great back rubs. What? Seriously? Yeah. It was a deal of a lifetime. I thought it was too good to be true, but I didn't care. I met Akine in September. We should get matching mug cups. Why? Because it'll make our friendship even stronger. Um, uh, okay. This one is cute. All right, I'll get it. Really? Thank you. I'll make you something special for dinner tonight. A month later, we got costumes for Halloween, but we didn't go outside. 
Haruhiro, you look much better without those glasses. The girls are gonna be all over you. You look great too. Your skirt is really short. You're making me nervous. No worries, I'm wearing shorts under this. You wanna see? N no. We both look great, this is fun. Hey, check out this jack-o'-lantern I made. It took me three weeks to make it. Looks good. That's it? Well, I mean, I was here the entire time, so... But I really like it, honestly. I'll make something even better next year. <laughs> Looking forward to it. November. We went to go see the foliage. Haruhiro, come closer. Let's take a picture. I, I, I can't. If I get any closer... What? What's gonna happen? I, I, I don't know, but I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Too bad. Come here. Uh, not so close. Oh, your hair. What? Does it smell? No, it smells great. Wait, I, I didn't mean to... You tricked me. <laughs> so you smelled my hair. We became really good friends. Merry Christmas. I made a cake. Thanks, but you sure you should be hanging out with me on Christmas Eve? I'm a loser. Stop saying that. You gotta have more confidence. Sorry. And that, you always apologize for everything. Look, it's Christmas Eve and I'm here. Why do you think that is? Huh? What are you saying? What do you think I'm saying? It's time to man up. Stop being a wuss. I... I am... Um, I like you, Akine. I've never done this before, so... I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but... Well done! I like you too, Haruhiro. Really? Yeah. And, uh, people say I look kinda slutty, but I've never had a boyfriend. What? Seriously? Yeah, but I'm in college now, so I want a boyfriend. So I'm glad I met you, Haruhiro. Thank you, Santa. So, now I had a girlfriend. I guess you never know what life throws at you. Anyways, glad everything worked out. I'm Haruhiro Kamikawa. I'm a 10th grader at an all-boys high school. I was just an average kid. I'm home! <sighs> what a long day. I'm gonna take a nap. What the... What the hell? What's she doing here? Mom! Why is Akine in my bed? Oh, her? She's gonna be staying with us for a while. What? Yup. Hope that's okay with you. This is Akine Suzune, my childhood friend. She goes to an all-girls high school. Our families have been friends ever since we were kids. But she always made fun of me. Didn't like her. <sighs> Damn it. This can't be happening. Why is she staying here? That makes no sense. Her parents are doing some renovation work around the house, so they asked me if Akine could stay over here for a bit. And you used to share your room with your sister, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Her bed is still there. Hold on. She's gonna be sleeping in my room? Why not? She likes you. And you two go way back. She says it's okay, right? Yeah. I feel like I'm part of the family now. <laughs> She's pretending to be a good girl in front of my mom. I know. Why don't you two get married? What? No! Why are they messing with me like this? This is gonna be fun, Haruhiro. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. <sighs> Whatever, I guess I got no choice. But listen, you better not make fun of me like you used to. I- What are you doing? It's really hot in here. D do it somewhere else then! Oh, it's okay, I don't mind. You're blushing, you're so cute. Shut up! People always told me that I looked like a girl. It wasn't a very nice feeling. Kids at school always made fun of me for it. I hate it when people say I'm cute. She knows that too. <laughs> You're still blushing. Hey, help me change, come on. What? No! Stop pretending like you're not interested. Here, look. What the? <laughs> Just kidding, your face is red. You little... Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. <sighs> I could barely sleep last night. What's wrong, Haruhiro? You get dumped or something? 
Wait, you don't even have a girlfriend. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sick of everyone making fun of me. Actually, I do. What? Liar. Stop making things up. I'm not. I've had a girlfriend for a while now. Oh, yeah? Then introduce us to her. Yeah? Let's see her. Damn it. Oh, why did I say that? Haruhiro, what's the matter? Ugh. You all right? Come here. G get away from me. What's the matter? Tell me. Well, uh... I told Akine what happened at school that day. Wow, you're such an idiot. Uh, I know. Hey, I know. I'll pretend to be your girlfriend. Huh? But... It's the only way. If not, I guess you can come clean to your friends and apologize to them for lying. Uh... Whatever. It's up to you. I don't really care. Okay, Akine. Help me, please. All right. Sounds fun. You owe me. Dating is strictly forbidden in my school, so just know I'm taking a risk here, too. Okay. A few days later. Hey, Haruhiro, you're late. So, where's your girlfriend, huh? What the? Hello, I'm Akine, Haruhiro's girlfriend. Whoa, she's pretty. Haruhiro, you weren't lying? Ugh. Well, I was, but... I love you so much, Haruhiro. Uh, okay. I kind of feel bad for lying to my friends, but whatever. It was really nice for her to help me out like this. All she ever did was make fun of me, so... Haruhiro, you're such an idiot, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> uh, I can't keep doing this. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm never lying about this again. Haruhiro! What? My back hurts. Give me a back rub? What? Why? I helped you out, remember? <sighs> well, it's true. She did help me. Ah, oh, that's the spot. I guess she trusts me. Or maybe she doesn't see me as a guy. I wonder how she feels about me. Someone's here. Mama's in home right now, so be right back. Uh, yes? Who are you? Sorry to bother you. I'm a student from Akatsuki High. I'm the class president. Akatsuki High? That's Akine school. One of our students saw Akine come into this house the other day, and according to her, she walked into the house saying, I'm home. Oh, uh, you must be mistaken. Maybe it was some other house. I doubt it. We're very certain that it was this house. Dating is strictly forbidden at our school. If this is true, she'll be expelled. What now? I'm gonna take a look around. Uh, hey! Oh no! I gotta hide! Nobody's here. I guess she hit herself just in time. But what now? Hey, you can't just come in here like this. Leave! What's this? Crap! I've seen this shirt before. This is Akine's. Does she really live here? What do I do? She's gonna get expelled! I can't let that happen. Okay, look! I'll tell you. I... I like to dress up. Like a girl. It's... a hobby of mine. You're lying. I'm not! And Akine, she's a childhood friend. She's the only one that knows about my hobby, so... Sometimes I borrow her clothes. What? You're just saying that to protect her. I'm not! Fine. Hold on. Watch. See? You believe me now? <laughs> you look really cute. I believe you. Whew. Can't believe that worked. This is so embarrassing. I'm sorry I called you a liar. That was rude of me. You're really cute. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. <sighs> Haruhiro, how did you convince her? Well, you helped me out by lying to my friends for me, so... I was just returning the favor. You dressed up like a girl to protect me? Y yeah. And I didn't want you getting expelled. You're so sweet. Come here, cutie. Stop that! She never listens to me. But when she smiles at me like that, <laughs> I just can't stay mad at her. I guess there was a part of me that enjoyed this. Then, a few weeks later... Hey, let's sleep in the same bed. What? 
Stop messing around. I I'm a dude. I'm serious. Just stop. I'm being serious. Come on. Look, Haruhiro, I've always liked you. Ever since we were little kids. What? If I didn't like you, why would I be here? So come on. Sleep in my bed tonight, okay? My name is Toma Hayami. This is my fourth year working at Akatsuki Corporation. It's a famous company, and I'm just an ordinary employee. Welcome. Oh, no. What is it? You look like the world is about to end. Uh, Akine-san! Uh, uh, what the? Why are you suddenly crying? Here, sit down. Tell me what's wrong. This is Akine Akatsuki. She's a senior at university, and she's a part-timer here. She looks like a total delinquent. However, she is kind and gentle on the inside. You okay? Are you feeling any better? Thank you, Akine-san. You want to tell me what's going on? You look like you're wasting away. Well, I decided to tell Akine-san what happened to me that day. Tomoku, can you finish this by the end of the day? Wait, all of this? That's right. Oh, come on. You can't be that useless, Tomokun. Can't believe how much work he's forcing on me. He must be crazy. Yes, sir. Thank God I got it done. I haven't taken Kasumi out on a date in a while. I wonder if... What? Why are they walking together? Kasumi! <gasps> Toma! Why are you and Kazuma Bucho together? I forgot to tell you. I like Kuzuma Bucho. I was going to break up with you soon. I can't stand being with you anymore. You're just an ordinary employee with no bright future. I'm leaving you. What? What the? Why all of a sudden? I apologize. It's my fault for being so talented. I wasn't planning on stealing your girlfriend, but I can't help it. It's only natural for her to be attracted to the better man. Exactly what he said. Goodbye. Uh, wow. That's pretty harsh. Plus, my boss is the son of the CEO of a subsidiary company. <laughs> he's still so young, but he's an executive officer. <laughs> There's no way I can compete with him. <laughs> hey, I don't think you're the loser here. I mean... This isn't the first time people have looked down on me for being poor and incompetent. But this is too much! He knew who she was! He knew she was my girlfriend! <laughs> Dude, stop crying. Uh, if it's okay with you, can I ask you what your boss's name is? Oh, it's Kazuma Kuzuma. Why did you want to know? <laughs> I was just curious. Anyways, do you want to go on a date with me next weekend? What? I'll give you the time of your life. That way, you can forget about your idiot ex-girlfriend. You don't want to sulk around forever. Don't you want to show your ex what she lost? Of course I do! Great, then let's do it. Showing her you are happy without her will be the best revenge you can get. The next weekend, I was standing in front of a statue by the station for Akine-san to come. Toma, did you wait long? Uh, no, I just arrived a few minutes. Wait, what? Who are you? Hmm, that was rude. It's Akine. Isn't it obvious? No, it's not. You can't be Akine. No way. I couldn't believe my eyes. The girl standing in front of me wasn't the dirty blonde girl I knew. I thought I should change how I look since you seem to like girls who have a clean image. Did you like how I looked before better? N no! You look so much better this way. But I can't believe you would go out of your way to change how you look just for today. You should feel lucky. I'm just kidding. This is actually what I usually look like. I only dress as I do at the cafe because of a ridiculous family situation. Oh, so is your family situation better? Are you okay? Yep. Everything is going to be better. Thanks to you, Toma. Thanks to me? Come on, let's get going. Oh, wait, uh, Kine-san! 
<laughs> After that, we went to eat lunch in a nearby restaurant. I got to know her a lot better through our many conversations. Akine-san then suggested we go to an aquarium. Whoa! Look at how big that fish is! Hey, Toma, do you know what that fish is called? Oh, that's a whale shark. It's the largest existing shark in the world. Did you know it could grow up to 10 meters? Wow, that's a shark? Wait, Toma, how do you know all of that? I used to ask my parents to take me to aquariums all the time. I spent most of my time out of a school studying about fish. That's how I know so much about them. Not that any of that information is useful. They're just facts I lay out for fun. Hey, don't make it sound like it all went to waste. Huh? I wouldn't have found out anything about the whale shark if it wasn't for your knowledge. You should be more proud of yourself. Knowledge is power in life. Give yourself a little credit. Akine-san. <laughs> Gosh, I'm blabbering on. It's just something my grandfather taught me a long time ago. Hey, let's move on to the next area. We had so much fun together. The day went by too fast. We walked towards the station as the sun began to set. I had so much fun today. I know I said I would make you forget about your ex, but I think I'm the one who got the most out of this date. That's not true, Akine-san. I had a great time with you, too. If it's okay with you, we can... How about we go on another date? Maybe on your next day off? <sighs> what is this? My heart is pounding. I'm burning up. I was going to ask you that. Of course we can. Really? Yay! Hey, it's a promise, okay? Yes! A month since my first day with Akine-san, we continued going on dates on my days off. By the time I realized, I already had romantic feelings toward her. When should I ask her out? Today? No, I should prepare the perfect setting to ask her such an important question. Talma, what's wrong? You have such a serious face on. Oh, uh, I was just thinking. <laughs> okay, just don't bottle it up inside, all right? I'm here if you ever need me. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh, is that you, Toma? It is! The wound my ex-girlfriend had left on my heart was only starting to heal. My boss and Kasumi were the last people I wanted to bump into. Uh, Kazuma Bucho, why are you here? What do you mean, why? It's obvious. I'm on a date with my pretty girlfriend. It's been so long. Or not. We see each other at the office. Is it just me, or have you been avoiding me, Toma? I looked at the person standing next to my boss. It was my ex-girlfriend. It's my day off. Why do I have to see them together? Are they... the people you were talking about before? I see. So it is them. Yo! Is that your new girlfriend standing by your side? You must have been cheating on Kasumi while you guys were dating, huh? How else would you get a new girlfriend so soon? What an asshole! Maybe I should demand more money from them for causing emotional distress. How dare you say that? You must be an idiot. What? Wait, you're the CEO's daughter! Took you long enough to realize who you were talking to, my dear ex-fiancé. What are you talking about? You're still my fiancé! We didn't break it off! What? Akine-san, she's the CEO's daughter? And Kuzuma Bucho is her fiancé? He is not my fiancé. Toma, let me make things clear. I don't want any misunderstandings. My parents chose him to be my fiancé, but I have been trying to find a way out of marrying him since I found out who he was. What? My father wouldn't listen to a word I said. That's why I ran from home and changed my identity. Akine-san. So this is what Akine-san was talking about when she mentioned she had a complicated family situation. Still, I want to thank both of you for giving me a proper reason to call off the wedding. I doubt my father has said anything to you yet, but 
We did a background check on you. We know what you've been up to. What? What do you mean a background check? We searched through every detail of your life. I wasn't surprised to find all the dirty things you've been doing. You steal your colleagues' achievements to make it seem like you're the one with the skills and capability. What do you mean? I'm only stating the truth. You were his biggest target, Toma. He took everything you deserved. What? Me? No way. Now that I think back, the project I was working on the other day, after I turned it in, I noticed Kazuma's Bocho's name was on it instead of mine. Do, do you even have proof? I wouldn't be saying all of this if I didn't have proof. And I've heard you have quite the reputation at the office. Sucks for you. My father will announce that you will be transferred to a branch far away soon. Damn it! What? Wait a second! What the hell is going on? I feel for you. You are such a pathetic woman. But I'm thankful for you for freeing Toma from your wicked clutch. But... Uh, hey, Toma! I still like you. You know that, right? I'm being honest with you. That thing with Kazuma Bucho was just a little mess up. You're the only one who has my heart, I swear to God. Huh? If she had said this to me right after she dumped me, I might have bought it. But not now. That's enough from you. <laughs> what do you think I am? A homeless puppy dog? I'm not going back to you. My heart belongs to someone else now. Sorry, not sorry. Akine-san, I was planning to set up the perfect situation to do this, but I don't think this can wait anymore. I know I'm not the most reliable guy around, but I love everything about you, Akine-san. I want you to be my girlfriend, and eventually, I'm hoping we'll get married. This is so amazing. I've liked you for so long, Toma. Of course it's a yes, no doubt. W wait No, this can't be happening. Things turned out just as Akine-san warned my boss. Everybody found out about his dirty deeds, and he was sent to a small branch office in the middle of nowhere. His relationship with Kasumi was revealed and she became known as the girl who had an affair with the CEO's daughter's fiance. She soon left the company. So, you are the famous Tomokun? Yes, sir. Congratulations on your promotion. I'm looking forward to seeing more of you in the future. And I owe you an apology. I should have realized what was going on sooner. B please, raise your head, sir. None of this is your fault. Yes, it is. As the CEO of this company, I should have kept an eye on all of my employees. Please forgive me, Tomoku. He's right, Toma. You have the right to be furious right now. But, but... How am I supposed to be furious towards the most important person in this company? I have to agree with Akine. I need to take responsibility for what I've done. However, I am thankful for your kindness, Tomokun. It shows what kind of person you are. Kine, I'm glad you found him. <laughs> See, I told you he's great. Tomokun, my daughter is far from perfect, but I sincerely hope you two end up happy. Huh? That means a lot, sir. Why does this feel like a meeting with the father of my fiance all of a sudden? Now that we have my father's approval, all we need is a wedding and some marriage registration papers. Let's make a vow to become the happiest family alive! I'm Toma Yoshioka. I'm 26. I liked video games, so I started working as a salesman for a video game company. But I was a terrible salesman. Yoshioka! We received a complaint about you from one of our clients. This is the third time this month. Sorry. Sir, look! He got another complaint from a different client. What? But that's your... What? They're saying they're going to stop doing business with us. He stayed late last night to finish the contracts, but... Look here. It's a can of beer. Hold on, that's not mine. Stop trying to deny it. You're the one that asked me to help you, and you're the one that's in charge of this. Stop trying to blame others. And I don't see my name on the document. You were drinking on the job? Ugh. I've heard enough. I want you gone by the end of the week. And so, just like that, I got fired. 
My colleague Kuzuyama framed me. But it was bound to happen. My boss hated me anyway, so... Ugh, who could that be? Hey there! I'm here! What the... It was Kaho Kawaguchi, my former colleague. She was one of the best engineers of the company. She was really pretty, too. The guys at work were all over her. Hey, uh... Come on in, I guess. Thanks. You're eating instant noodles again? Yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, <sighs> we're starting a company together. I need you to eat better. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? Didn't Akine tell you? I quit. Wait, what? But you were one of the best engineers there. Why did you quit? Because they fired you for no reason. Kaho and I liked the same kind of video games, so we talked a lot. I knew she cared about me, but I couldn't believe she quit her job for me. Ah, I'll get it. Hey, hold on! Ah, oh, you're here already? I knew it. I thought we agreed to meet at the station. Wait, really? Sorry, I forgot. It's fine. Can I come in, Toma? Miss Katori? Uh, why are you here? Did, did you quit your job too? Oh, so you heard. Yep, I quit yesterday. None of this makes sense. This is Akina Katori. She was in charge of training new employees for the sales department. We heard about what they did to you. Screw them. Yeah! So we're going to start our own company. I see. Good luck. What are you saying? You're going to help us. We're going to get them back for what they did to you. Join us. I want you to be the CEO. What? Hold on. Do I even have a choice here? Nope. Sorry. And just like that, I became CEO of a company. Two weeks later, we officially launched our company, Washoi Apps. Uh, so what now? Akine will be in charge of sales. I'll be in charge of development. What do you need me for? You're the producer. What? You entered that video game script competition a few months back, remember? Uh, yeah, but my idea didn't even make it past the first round. It was Mr. Hadoyama. He was the one behind it. I even got proof. He didn't want anyone from the sales department winning the competition. He said leave that to the script writers. But your script was really good. What? Yeah, people loved it. But it got squashed by the manager before it saw the light of day. I didn't believe them at first, but I don't think they were kidding. Okay, let's just say that's true. For the sake of argument. I still got one question. What is it? Why are you two helping me? Because I like you. Why else? <laughs> what? Oh, I nearly spilled my coffee. What do you mean? I'm pretty cute, you know. Uh, right? But that's all people see when they look at me. A cute girl. Nothing else. But you? You always looked at my work. Huh? That's it? Yes. That's not enough to like someone. Uh, what about you? You like me too? You're a hard worker. You never give up. I always admired you and... yeah. For real? I've never had a girlfriend before, but... Turns out I had two secret admirers. Alright then, let's get to work. Yeah, we won't stop until we're number one. Oh boy. Well, there's no going back now. I decided to dive in with both feet. Three months later, we finished our first game. We didn't have any revenue during that time, so I couldn't even pay my employees. I felt really bad. Ah, finally, we're finished. The code is perfect, but my script, I don't know. Oh, it's great. Don't worry about it. Hey, uh, can you give me a back rub? Uh, sure. Hey, no fair, Kaho. No touching. Huh? Why not? Fine. That's how you reward your employees? I'll go out there and get the biggest contract ever. What? Uh, Akine, hold on. Oh, she's gone. But then a week later, she actually did it. She got us a major deal with this huge company. Here's the contract. What the? Are those numbers correct? They're offering us to pay this much? 
but we're just a startup. <laughs> I know people, and we have one of the best products in the industry, so I think it's a fair price. That night, we threw a little party to celebrate. They both drank a lot. I felt drunk just by looking at them. I wish there was something I can do to thank you both. Oh, no worries. We like you. That's why we did this, so... Oh, uh, thanks. Wait, I know! Let's all live together! What? What on earth are you talking about? Ah, good idea! I'll start looking for our place right away! Wait, hold on! But you said it yourself. You want to do something to thank us, right? You know what makes women happy? Uh, eating sweets? Telma, you're an idiot. A woman wants to spend every waking hour with her lover. That's right. Hey, this one looks good. What? I can't keep up with them. But, uh, I, I don't know. Living with two women, I mean... I don't mind. Me neither. We may be rivals, but we're also friends, so... You said you wanted to thank us. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to live with us, that's fine, but... How was I supposed to say no to that? It's not that. Uh, okay, let's do it. All right. Okay, then. We'll get started first thing tomorrow. Things were finally starting to go my way. Then, a few months later, I got a call. I recognized the number. Hello? Yoshioka, it's me. We need you back. Huh? What are you talking about? We've been getting multiple calls about your new company and... Just please come see me. I'll explain everything. What? I, I can't just... What are they smiling about? The time has come. It's time to strike back. <laughs> yeah, it's time to make them pay. So the next day, we all headed to our old company. Ah, Yoshioka. Thank you for coming. I knew I could count on you. Thanks, Toma. Our clients were threatening to leave us unless you came back. Phew, you're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure what to say to them. Working with Kaho and Akine made me realize what's really important in life. But these people, all they cared about was themselves. How selfish are you? You fired him for no reason, but now you want him back? Yeah, you know we can sue you for that. Stay out of this! Keep your mouth shut! Yoshioka, wake up! They're just using you! Yeah, they're just leeching off of you. Once they're done with you, they'll leave you. What? They're pathetic. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Look, I was a horrible salesman. I admit that. For that, I'm sorry. Well, come back to us, and we'll call it even. And I'm not mad about being fired, either. Good to hear. Glad we have an understanding. But these two, they were there for me when I needed them the most. How dare you talk to them like that? What? I was just telling them to stay out of it. I don't care. I've heard enough. I'll never work with you. Ever. Go to hell, asshole. What? Hold on, please. I went too far. Ugh. Oh, snap out of it. You were great today. You're too nice. Yeah, I could tell that you really care about us. Kaho's right. You're too nice. They deserve a lot worse after what they did to you. I just snapped, you know. I didn't mean to yell like that. <laughs> You're so nice. That's what I like about you. Yeah, same here. Well, what's done is done. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Are you drunk already? <laughs> He's so cute. Hard work doesn't always pay off. But as long as you don't give up and keep going, things might just work out for you. Kataoka, I like you. Please go out with me. She probably lost a bet. I'm Haruhiro Kataoka. I was terrible with girls. I can't even hold the conversation for more than three minutes. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. And now the prettiest girl in school is asking me out? <laughs> no way. So, uh, what do you say? I know you're just doing this because you lost a bet. You think I'm an idiot? This is Kaho Narimiya, one of the prettiest girls in school. She was on the track and field team. 
She was way out of my league. I knew this whole thing was a lie. Okay, you got me. But listen. Huh? Can you pretend to be my boyfriend for a month? Excuse me? Look, if I ask you out and we date for a month, my friends are gonna buy me tickets to a theme park. For a month? Seriously? I kind of felt guilty at first, but now you know, so what do you say? Uh, I don't know. Please, I really want to go to Nizumi Land. I'll even give you a ticket, please. Uh, why would I go to a theme park by myself? Wait, did she say Nizumi Land? That's fine. What? Really? Yeah, I'll pretend to be your boyfriend for a month. Thank you. I was gonna say no, but then I remembered something, so I decided to go along with it. We started hanging out during lunch and stuff to make it look real. Here, I made you lunch. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have. We gotta make it look real. Well, uh, homemade lunch is kinda nice. I'll take it. Thanks. Okay, what should we do after school? After school? Hmm, usually I go straight home, but... Oh, I know. You wanna hit the arcades? You wanna take a parakura? Uh, no. You'll see. Okay. I kinda feel bad. She's the one that got herself into this cell. But I got practice, so can you wait for me? Sure. Can I watch you practice? I don't know, but you are my boyfriend, so... Fine. Alright. She's so pretty, as always. Yeah, she's like an angel. Look at all these people. Are they all fans? I know it's not for real, but I can't believe I'm dating her. Hey, great hustle out there. You look like an angel. Huh? Uh, that's what their guys were saying. Oh, are you messing with me? Come on, let's hit the arcades. Fine, fine. What are we gonna play? That. Huh? You're my girlfriend, right? You gotta play along then. You're messing with me, aren't you? No, why? Of course I'm messing with you. This is gonna be fun. Uh, Hit this button first, then this. Uh, people are staring at me. Pretty girls like you never come here, that's probably why. Uh, what? Nothing. Come on, let's get this over with. Did he just call me pretty? Hey, this is actually pretty fun. Wow, she's really good at this. She's learning quick. Are you sure this is your first time playing? You're a natural! Me? Huh? Thank you, can you teach me? What can I do to score higher? Uh, try hitting this button first. Wow, cool! She's already making new friends? Wow! Hey, we can play together! Join me, Haruhiro! Okay! That was fun! I wanted to make things awkward for her, but that didn't work. Oh well, I had fun, so. Ah. Uh. What the? Oh, that's my... There is this poster. It was something I worked on a few months ago. I was an illustrator. I drew book covers for light novels. I was pretty famous, actually. I've never told anyone except for my family. And I don't even use my real name, so there's no way she can know. Uh, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just really like this character, and... I think I saw its action figure in one of the claw crane machines back there. But this thing just came out. I don't know if they have action figures yet. Oh, I see. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think she knows, but she's acting all weird. You sure know a lot about light novels. Yeah, I'm a nerd, so I got a lot of light novels at home. Oh. Wait, I got an idea. You want to come to my house tomorrow? Huh? I'm not going to do anything. I just want to talk to you about light novels. I see. You're messing with me, aren't you? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Yep. Hello. My room's upstairs. What's this room? Uh, my dad's study. Study? Yeah, come on. Uh, okay. Wow, look at all these light novels. Well, I'm an illustrator, so I use some of them for reference. Which one should we read first? Ah. Oh, uh, that's one of the novels I worked on. I want to read this one. Huh? Can I sit? Sure. I wasn't expecting this. Hmm. 
She's getting really into it. Oh, she's cute. I, I mean, what am I saying? Snap out of it! Uh, it's getting late. You should get home. Oh, wow. I completely lost track of time. Can I borrow this? Uh, sure. Thanks! That didn't go as planned. Oh, well, I think she became a fan of light novels, so I guess that's a good thing. She got really into light novels. Which one should I read first? She's been coming to my room almost every day now, and she always picks the ones I worked on. Is it a coincidence? You're not going to read any of it? Well, I already read all of them, so... Uh, can we go do something else? This isn't a library. But I'm your girlfriend. This is what boyfriend and girlfriends do. Oh, right. We started spending a lot of time together. She likes shrimp and eggs. Her favorite color is light blue. We actually got a lot in common. I use a lot of light blue in my drawings, so maybe that's why she picks the books I worked on. What are you staring at? Uh, nothing. If I say I was thinking about you, I creep her out. Hey, um, why do you want tickets to Nizumi Land so badly? Because there's something I want to go see. Huh? You see this picture? I love this artist. Huh? She's a fan of mine. I saw one of his works on social media a few months ago, and I've been a fan ever since. Then I learned he also drew book covers for light novels. She saw my pointer. What are the odds? I really liked his drawings, but I heard light novels were for geeky kids, so I couldn't buy them. Ah, that's understandable. But then I heard he was doing a little exhibition at Nizumi Land, so that's why I want those tickets. My family isn't wealthy, so I can't pay for it myself. I'm here on a scholarship, so I can't get a part-time job either. So you decided to go out with me for a month? Actually, that's exactly why I agreed to do all this. I wanted to see what kind of fans I had, but I had no idea she was a fan. It's not a bad feeling. Should I tell her? I wonder what he's like. I'd love to meet him. <sighs> Look at those eyes. I can't tell her it's me. I'll disappoint her. I know I'll probably never meet him in person, but you know. Ah, <laughs> right. I didn't know what to say to her. I thought about telling her many times, but I couldn't. Then, a month later... Thanks for everything. Uh, sure. I thought I'd be relieved. But I really enjoyed this. I, I think I like her for real. I, I don't want this to end. I'll give you the tickets later. Um... Yeah? She'll probably never talk to me again, so... Might as well tell her how I feel. Can we keep doing this? Uh? I, I think I like you. For real. I know you're way out of my league, but... No! I knew it. Not like this. This whole thing feels wrong. She's got a point. What was I thinking? Sorry. I'll bring you the ticket tomorrow. Okay. This isn't like one of those light novels. I, I don't stand a chance with her. What was I thinking? Hello. Hey, Mom is using the vacuum. It's kind of noisy, but... No worries. I'll get something to drink from the kitchen. You can wait in my room. What the? Huh? Ah! Mom left the door open. What is this? Uh. I thought this was your dad's study. Wait, is your father? Damn it. I better come clean. I lied. It's me. Huh? I'm the illustrator. You must be disappointed. I'm sorry. What? Why would I be disappointed? Huh? Honestly, I thought you were just a creepy nerd at first, but I was wrong. If I was creeped out by you, I wouldn't have come here every day. Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Ah. What the? You said you liked me. You mean that? You better not be lying. Huh? Look, the thing is, I kind of like you too, Haruhiro. I really enjoyed spending time with you but I had no idea you were my favorite artist. What? But... I said no to you yesterday because I wanted to start this right. No way. Did you lose another bet or something? No. Look, meet me at Nizumi Land tomorrow, okay? Uh-huh, hold on. Well, here I am. What if this is some kind of prank? Wow. 
It's her. She's here. You came. Yeah. Look, Haruhiro, I... No, let me. I like you. Please go out with me. Of course. Come here, you.